Hello! Welcome to a new video. My name is Susanna and I like talking about print on demand, like society, Redbubble, and I also like to create art and things like that. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and hopefully you enjoy this video because I'm going to talk about Canva and how you could create designs. You will learn how to create designs, what to use to create designs on Canva for free because Canva has a plan but I don't use the, I don't like to pay for extra because my goal is to make money not spend money but that's only my thinking but sometimes you have to invest but it depends but for this video I'm just gonna focus on the free version of Canva and what to and what you could use to create a lot of designs for your red bubble shop so you're if you're interested in that please continue watching and subscribe So here we are in my iPad and I'm gonna choose Canva. So this is Canva. So for Canva you need to create an account, it's free. To create an account and use the free basics. And Canva has a lot of um, good resources to create and it's good and it's good um, app for creating. It's, also, it's an app and a website too. So if you don't wanna get an app or you don't want or you don't have room in your phone you could just use the one on the website and you could still create stuff on the website so they have for posters Instagram story highlight covers phone wallpapers I think I might look into the highlight covers there's a lot of good ideas for creators to create you can make t-shirts invitations business cards cards photo collages youtube thumbnails social media ios icons if you have an iphone facebook events and so much more so canva is free to create as i mentioned and i'm going to show you around so for Redbubble, we need to create a custom size because you want a white canvas. So for the free version, you could only use 5,000 times 5,000 PX. That's only for the people that have free, for a free version. And with Canva, you don't need to, you cannot make the background transparent. If you pay for Canva, you could make the image transparent and you could make the file bigger. So right here, I'm in the element section. All these element sections are free. If it says pro, that means that you cannot use it for Redbubble. And these have they have these collections. Some say free, some don't say anything. But the ones that say pro, you cannot use for Redbubble. So there's a lot of, and you could explore because some collections have a lot. But we could search. For example, let's search Christmas trees. And you will get some. Some say free. The ones that say pro, you cannot use. You could use the elements that say that don't say nothing, do not say pro. You could use those. And usually the free ones are on top of the search. So basically on elements, you would choose elements, you would choose whatever you want, have an idea to see what pops up. And the ones that, say, that don't say pro, you could use and you could create as many designs as you want. So right here I'm just looking all the trees that are free that, that I like. I like this one. I also This one is also free and you could also get recommendations under a certain element that you choose. And here I'm just fixing the trees. Maybe you could you want some 
a pattern and what I did just now is I duplicate the image so I went to the right side top right side and there's like a square with a plus that means you could duplicate the image and here I'm trying to make a pattern you, if you choose if you click on the background you could change the background to any color you want but I'm just gonna leave it in white then you could also go to text and all these are free to use or you could just um, add a heading and then just type anything on the canvas and then uh, you could click on the font section if you don't like any of the fonts available on Canva on the left side and you could choose the ones that have crowns or the ones that you cannot use because those are part of the pro for people that pay for Canva. So you could only use any font that you like that does not have the crown. And there's still some good choices to choose from. And you could create any text, any font, for if you're interested in doing for t-shirts or mugs you can make the size bigger I think the max the size could go is I think 800 or 900 not too sure so elements is the section that you would search when creating patterns or if you have an, a design in mind that you would like to try so right here I just searched hearts and these are the ones that got revealed to me and these are free so I could use this one it's like a heart with a watercolor I think it's cute you also get suggestions on some not all and what's cool is that you could change the color of the images from the element section you just have to click the image and then you could change the colors on some you can on some you can't And I'm searching. I'm not. I'm not gonna search for Santa Claus. Let's see what pops out. Since the holidays, Christmas. So for this one, we didn't get too many free. The only free that we got was the Santa Claus hat. Most of these are in pro version, which means you cannot use for Redbubble. So this one is free. I like the reindeer too. So this is just an example. I'm just putting elements that you could use to get an idea. Then I found this one. This one is also free. What's cool is that you could, like for example this image, you could change the colors. The colors will appear on the top uh, left. For example, just click on the green and then you could change it. You Maybe you want to make it darker. Maybe you want to change the present color box. And I just made it purple. Hopefully this part makes sense. You just have to select the image that you want to change. Sometimes it will appear that you could change the color. Sometimes it, that image will not be able to change colors. And I think it's pretty cool. You could actually create a lot of designs, change the color, change the background too. So this is just an idea. And it's fun to play around with Canva. You could do so many designs. You could change so many elements. If you like more videos like these, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.